But it's true. But every time I make fun of something, when something happens to somebody, every time I make fun of it, something always comes back on me. How many of y'all believe in karma? <laughs> Do you really? Do y'all believe in that? Because it's real. <laughs> it is. My karma always comes on back on me with some type of animal incident. Every time I make fun of somebody that happened to something else, something happens to me with an animal. I'll give you an example. I was on my friend's boat. We were out in the ocean. Sailboat. There is no other animals. We pull back to the dock. We're sitting at the dock on the very end of the dock. As we're sitting there, the boat's getting a little cold. I don't want to stay on the boat no more, so I decide I'm going to get off the boat, go up to the truck, watch Netflix, and turn on the heater. I get off the boat, feel a little better. I'm walking along the dock. Now, he parks his boat on the very end of the dock because he doesn't want to maneuver between other people's boats. So on this side, I can't see nothing. Black. That's all ocean. I'm walking this way. I hear the biggest splash <laughs> next to the dock. Not like a psh. It was like a <laughs> And I was like, what was that? So I decided to walk faster. As I'm walking faster, out of nowhere, from the night sky, the biggest pelican <laughs> I have ever seen in my life. I don't even know what a pelican, I didn't even know what a pelican was till it showed up. He comes flying up, pow, right in front of the dock, wings out. Boom, staring at me. I'm standing there like, whoa, whoa. What are you supposed to do? I thought he wanted to fight. That's what I, I where I'm from, where I'm, where I'm raised at, if you walk up on somebody with your hands out like this, you want something. So when he landed, pow, he went like this. I looked the bird right in the face. What, you want some of this? <laughs> then I forgot, I don't know how to fight a, I don't know how to fight a bird. <laughs> how do you fight a bird? You punch him in the beak, you pull his wet feet. What do you do? <laughs> so the minute I squared up on this bird on the dock and I'm standing there like this, like, okay, we about to get this on. The biggest sea lion. Yeah, gets worse, girl. <laughs> I watched your eyes get big. <laughs> What? Yeah, yeah, karma. <laughs> karma. This is for me making fun of everybody. Now I'm stuck with this big sea lion that comes out of the water, lands behind the bird. Boom! Now I'm like, wow, he got backup. <laughs> I got nobody. So I'm sitting there like this. Now, when he jumped on the dock, I noticed a shark fin right next to the, to the dock. <laughs> so I was like, oh, that's why he had to get up here. He was being chased. That's what was happening. Now, when he got away from the shark, he wanted to tell somebody. There was nobody to tell, except me. So he looked around, I looked around. You ever do that, look around like, okay, what are you? <laughs> he looked me dead in my eyes, and the sound that came out of his mouth was the best Will Smith impersonation I've ever heard in my life. Because <laughs> the minute he came out, boom, landed out, looked me in the eyes and went, woo! <laughs> And I thought to myself, that makes sense. Because <laughs> if I would have jumped out right when the shark went by, I'd have been like, woo! <laughs> so when he left, he jumped off the dock, bird flew away. I started walking down the dock, and I was like, I need to get off of this planet, animal planet, kingdom dock. Because I've been here 35 seconds and already seen three species. <laughs> I'm done for the evening. But I'm walking and I'm thinking to myself, how am I supposed to tell this story to a group of people? Because as comedians, if we want to tell you something that happened to us, we got to understand everything that happened in the story. There was one thing that was unclear to me. I know why the sea lion was there. He had to be there, because the shark was chasing him. But the whole time I sat there, I was like, what the heck was the pelican doing on the dock? He had nothing to do with this. And then I figured it out. He was the crossing guard. <laughs> He was. He was best friends with the sea lion. He was flying around. He seen that his buddy was being chased by a shark. He knew he had to get on the dock. But when he was flying, he said, wow, that dude is about to have a bad day. <laughs> so he came down to save me, flew down on the dock, pow, looked at me. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, man, stop, man. It's looking at this. Why are you trying to fight me, man? Stop. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> karma. That's, that's the whole thing about it, too. Karma. So watch it. <laughs>